Hey guys, I'm just messing with a selfie stick just for the hell of it. <laughs> uh, not very steady actually, so I think we'll switch back to uh, a solid mount. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's enough of the selfie stick. Uh, oh, oh, it's cool. Haven't been out in the shop for a while. Those who re might remember in a previous video I mentioned about having a cold. Well that's persisted and turned into a sort of flu type thing which is a total pain in the butt. I haven't got over that yet, can't seem to shake it off. Combination of aches and pains and headaches and God knows what. Anyway, um, in an attempt to get some sort of video out I thought I've uh, got two or three odd ideas and they're not going to be very exciting, but uh, I'll slot in a picture of that uh, Acme insert. Now I got I got an insert from Shars, but unfortunately it's for a smaller insert. Now I'm thinking I might modify it and try and machine out some of this on here, see if it's usable, otherwise I may use a piece of, just a general piece of uh, bar stock. And I haven't decided yet on that, so that's one thing I might mess around with. Um, Oh, the other thing I was going to show at some point, I might even just do a short video on it. Uh, I expect a lot of people have used uh, case hardening. Um, it's quite useful sometimes for some jobs. I thought I'd just cover that briefly. But the main thing I was going to try and do, either within this video or as a separate one, I've no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally totally messed up for any uh, particularly good schedule. Um, I've noticed with some of the videos that guys put up that there's possibly a little bit of room for improvement here and there. Now, whatever I do with my video is not definitive. Uh, it's just what I choose to do. Uh, it's my opinion. So anything later that I describe for putting a video together is uh, purely what I find is useful. There are numerous things that uh, can help out, modifying sound level, brightness, contrast, the type of transitions, etc. So what I might try and do is show that, either in this video or another, and this may be intro number one. I might even add something else, I don't know. It shows how organised I am, doesn't it? So uh, that will be an absolute uh, suck it and see as to how I put it together. So for the time being, we'll see what happens, all right? <laughs> There's this uh, insert again, which I forgot to mention is um, a can of metal. And uh, this Shars is for a smaller insert, which I may have mentioned. Uh, whether it's going to be adaptable, I'm not sure. So I'm going to give it a try. I've got uh, 5 16 carbide end mill in here. And what you probably can't see is they've put a spacer at the bottom with a roll pin. So I'm trying to machine that down to get rid of it. And uh, see where we go from there. I'm only taking small cuts. Pretty hard stuff. But uh, we'll try and get rid of this packing piece. Strange design, really. 
got a bit further to go on that. We'll see how it goes. Well, that's removed the uh, this little pad, which was about I don't know, hundred thou, something like that. Got the roll pin removed down to level. So I think what we'll do is uh, flip this ninety and uh, take a bit of a cut into here and see whether the uh, insert will fit adequately. Right, there's probably still some glare on here. <coughs> I've gradually uh, cut away here the, the, the uh, carbide cutter I've got here is an eighth which is a bit small but I've cut back into here which I think is far enough and uh, then tried to machine off at approximately the right angle I don't know where this will hang on a minute so that basically is it I'm not sure whether the top clamp will work well enough I think it will and I'll uh, put that together and see how it is The uh, carbide belt, by the way, is a ball end, so I've got one or two slight lines. So we'll check that out. Well, it's a bit rough and ready. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, Oh, sorry. Try to get this locked in. Well, it's a slightly uh, proximate setup, and I haven't tightened that down fully yet. But although it's not fully supported underneath. I'm not going to cut back any further because I'm not sure whether the clamp will work so at some point when I get to trying out to make a new one of these <laughs> this bent lead screw uh, we'll see if it works and take light cuts and the only other thing I've got to do now is to get some material off the uh, tool holder because it's a three-quarter and I want to use it in one of my uh, Aloris type, so I'm going to take a, an eighth of an inch off that. Well, I tried a 40 thou cut, seemed a bit much, bound to get vibration, but I've reduced that to uh, 25, so just have to be a bit patient, I think. I mean, this stuff is fairly hard. I think actually we'll set this up offset because it's uh, giving a lot of side hit on that first cut. I'm just going to take a tenth hour cut to finish that off. Should finish up just under five eighths. <coughs> the one um, I changed from that larger facing cutter to this one which is theoretically three quarter but in fact it's just under. So I've got a slight lip each side here. It's not a big deal. I'll probably just take a couple of finishing cuts up each side. Quite a lot of vibration though, probably predictably.
Time to vacuum up, I think. So just clean up these edges. Well, there we are. That uh, I think will do all right. About the best I can manage on that. I've taken quite a lot of material off actually, but the uh, projection doesn't seem to be too excessive. Got the clamp down pretty well and uh, taken off just over an eighth from here so I think we're good to go. So the next thing is to try and make a new one of these when I get to it. Well that's modified the tool holder and I wasn't sure whether to put this on as a second intro or not. I think I'll just put it at the end actually. Uh, I think the tool holder will work. Pretty tough material. I did think of grinding off most of the uh, thickness and then finishing with a milling cutter but instead I just did it in increments. So I think that'll work. And the next thing is to try and make this new lead screw, which really isn't that important, but I'm determined to do it, try and get it done. Now, I mentioned in the beginning about trying to do a, a video on, I guess we could call it uh, editing techniques, or there's another word, what is it? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, sort of edit, editing techniques to try and make improvements on what you get from your camera. So I think I'll do that as a separate item and, and probably use material from this video and or whatever I do with this uh, lead screw and then try and show what I mean about uh, various improvements you can make. Anyway, this is just a short, not very interesting one, but... Uh, at least I got my Acme thread ready to use, hopefully I'll take light cuts with it and uh, see how we go. So that's it for now guys. Uh, been a while since I was back. Uh, I just hope I get rid of this darn flu. Um, and maybe see you soon. Alright, bye.